We're doing Transformers Reactivate. Welcome to Voice of the Fat Mantis. I got another Transformers video for you. This time we're doing Transformers Reactivate, which is something that shockingly not enough people have heard about. You all know about Transformers Rise of the Beasts coming out this year, but did you know about Transformers Reactivate? This is a looter shooter, one to four players online, where you can play various Autobots and you get to go out there. People have compared it to Destiny and there's not a lot of information going out there. We've got screenshots of gameplay. We do not have it yet a gameplay trailer out. Now, interestingly enough, this video game, which will probably be released around the time of Rise of the Beast, I'd be surprised if they waited longer because really they need to move on that synergy. That's just good business right there. But in the storyline, the Autobots and the Decepticons have to team up together and to fight off a group known as the Legion. Now, they look like zombified, monsterific versions of the Transformers. Obviously, this will go into a lot of lore, really betting on the idea that this is going to have to do something with Unicron. They are probably servants or slaves of Unicron. For all, all the worst stuff, the demonic stuff from Transformers, it's always Unicron. And so it's fascinating what we've got so far. I've seen a world map that looks similar to Destiny, where you can pick your city or area. It starts off in a post-apocalyptic New York where the Legion have landed and completely, utterly destroyed. So it's Transformers, but not modern-day civilization, more of just a wrecked city. Recent leaks have proven that we've got Chicago, and we're going to get some area in the uh, America's desert regions, which is a must since most conflicts in Transformers happens there. It's the explanation as to why giant robots can fight. Not everyone knows about them or that it's rare that you see them because most of their epic giant explosive fights happen out in the desert. It happened in G1. It happened in Armada. It has happened in Prime. Uh, I, the list goes on and on. So that is completely fitting. But if you look on the other side of the map, it actually looks as if other destinations will be going around the world. It's similar to Destiny. You're going to be able to teleport to these regions, but they will be massive massive expansive boards where the characters can do their things you link up with your party and you guys are going on missions and what a video game if done right could give us is just an infinite exploration now we've heard also leaks on what the weapon systems are going to be and they're both going in depth to both your melee weapons and your energy weapons it's not just laser weapons ion weapons plasma weapons that do burning and fire damage there seems to also be a weapon called the magnetic grenade launcher which i'm assuming that after it explodes it pulls all metal particularly opponents into that section but it looks like they put a lot of work into these weapons it's just very detailed also a roster for our guys over here and so this character select screen looks as if we've got starscream we've got the female seeker slipstream we've got hot rod and look at his vehicle mode that is looking very hot rotish very classic g1 inspired we've got Soundwave, who looks like he's turning into an armored vehicle truck it is kind of upsetting that he is not a stealth bomber. That is by far my favorite alt mode for him. If anyone should soar through the heavens, it's my man Soundwave. Now, look, we've got Sunstreaker. For those of you who don't know, he is the twin brother of Sideswipe. Despite them being twins, Sideswipe was always one of Optimus's main guys. He he reintroduced in Armada. Sideswipe is always seems to be in the fit of it, but his twin brother Sunstreaker is just like the guy on the side who's got no lines. He probably doesn't get any play either, poor guy. But he looks amazing like that. I like that shoulder cannon. Next, we're moving into my favorite Autobot, Ironhide. He's the guy who has the southern accent. He's a badass. He's a weapons expert. And then we've got a more recent character who became famous through the comic books, but has been appearing in series after series, such as Cyberverse and uh, the unfortunate Earth Spark. That's another video right there. And also Titan's Return. We've got Windblade, the city speaker, and she is a flyer. Autobots need more flyers in their world. You notice on the bottom, there's a progress bar indicating that there's probably different stories and each character will have their own progression system over there. And I'm really enjoying that. I really can't wait to sink my teeth into these. 
And so there has also been rumors outside of it that other characters will appear, obviously, like Optimus and Megatron. But I do like that the starting batch of characters has nothing to do with those guys the legends were used to. I do love Bumblebee. I've got warm feelings about Optimus and Megatron, but perhaps we see too much of them. Perhaps it's time for other people to get a chance, but I'm sure they will be appearing in this video game so there are rumors that it's possible that the pvp mode will allow you to create your own autobot or decepticon once again the legions are working they're working together to destroy the legion so you can have a mixed group but in a player versus player situation where you can actually design your own character you get a certain number of points can decide whether they're a flyer or a ground mech give them uh, customized weapons it would be really amazing and i would absolutely love that the reason why I know this is going to be good is about five years in the past, they were working on a game called Transformers Universe, which they actually got to beta. Transformers Universe was an MMO. It was very standard MMO. You can probably look up YouTube videos of people playing the beta. And you know how betas are very unpopulated areas and you can kind of get the feel of it. And it just seemed very generic MMO. And what happened is Hasbro said, not good enough. And they canceled the beta and they shut it down. Work from that, they moved on to another company where they called their looter shooter idea for a game. They took a lot of elements out of universe, but they started to call it Transformers Impact. For whatever reason, company left and now Splash Damage is finishing it off and they've renamed it Transformers Reactivate. And what I'm liking is that Hasbro, if something isn't working, they turn it away. This isn't one of those simple adaptations of a movie or a video game. Let's face it, adaptations of movies, video games, TV series are often not very good. They're, it's very rare that they're amazing. And Hasbro is making sure that they are setting the bar extremely high. And I am loving that D the dedication to quality quality controls what's going on now let's move on to what we don't know i'm going to do wild speculation now if we go back to our map real quick if you notice there's on the red part of the map up on the top there's something written in cybertronics now cybertronics has an alphabet that's out there similar to arabesh from star wars and it that translates to soul system is it possible that we're going to be allowed to move off the map of planet earth and later on unlock boards that are on other planets other things let's face it transformers has had epic battles on various planets including pluto mars and titan what other places are important? Obviously, Cybertron would be a great place to visit. Wherever the origins of the legions would be good ones. And here's one that I would really like to see. Ultimately, my top tier planet is Velocitron. For those who don't know, Velocitron is a world introduced in 2005's Transformers Cybertron. And it is a world where the Transformers there are obsessed with racing. And they've made racetracks, winding crazy racetracks, covering the entire surface of the world. They're, everything in their culture is about winning trophies, who's the fastest, and how to make themselves modified to be the fastest Autobots in all the land. Now, since then, it has appeared in numerous series and become a fan favorite of extraplanetary Cybertronian colonies. I would love to see that, and I would love for them to put in a racing mechanic. That's right, that you could win extra prizes as a side game by going to Velocitron and winning various crazy, insane races. How fun would that be? I mean, they've already devised the uh, the vehicle mode. They might as well just use that system to create a side game. Would be lots of fun. That, that going on, I believe that either going to a gas giant or Gigantion, which is a giant planet, would be a great place to have a similar situation as Velocitron, only for aerial bots. I don't mean aerial bots as an Autobots who fly. I'm talking about anyone who is a flyer. They should have a board where everything is about flight and that you have to have a flight mode alt to be able to go there. That would be a great player versus player where all you do is dog fights all day long. That would be amazing. Maybe there could be some pit stops on the tall buildings of Gigantion where you can transform and do physical fighting and then get back into flying. But that would be utterly amazing. What about the idea of a jungle planet or animal? 
Animatron, as they call it. A world where everyone has a beast mode and you have to be a beast to be there. That would be a ton of fun as well. Actually, the list goes on and on what they could do, but I honestly do think playing off of these colony worlds would probably be the coolest thing ever. Now, if we're really going into a system where you can create or and level up your transformer, what kind of features or items would we want? For starters, the first thing that I think they could really do in a video game, which would be amazing and works for a looter shooter, is having mini cons. Mini cons are a small, less intelligent robot that follows you around and can attach onto you, sometimes becoming an extra weapon or imbuing you with a power you might normally have, not have, like cloaking, for instance, or the ability to fly when you couldn't before, the ability to phase through objects. There's actually countless mini cons give countless powers and it'd be cool if you had that option and you had a little familiar bot running around with you and you could also customize that would be pretty cool as well if we're going to do mini cons we might as well do headmaster mini cons which are mini cons that transform into your head unit and when they merge on merge with you you gain various psychic abilities that other transformers can't do like telepathy superior targeting and stuff like that it is unlikely a lot of these things will happen but uh, a guy can wish, right? Next is power links, where two robots can become one. And it'd be cool that if you had a link partner in your posse and you guys could link up and become one super-powered robot, that would be great. What if we took power linking to the next extreme and had actual combiner units? That's right. You and four of your friends become a gestalt, a giant combiner robot. You could name and design what it looks like and all combat together, almost like you're moving along in one vehicle. One would control one arm, the other arm, the main body, and the legs. This would be so much fun. We all know that would be amazing. And I think that I'm getting a little too greedy wish with my wish list. I think that I'm asking for things that are super impractical or it's just possible that the studio is not ready to give us. Maybe for sequels. But if we were to see these things, I could see this as a game lasting a decade or higher. If you just gave these sorts of abilities. Also, what about the ability to triple change? Maybe as you go up levels, you get more transformation options. Maybe you could get as high as six shot and eventually get six individual forms that would be freaking amazing ultimately i think i'm getting a little crazy right now so the real question is what do you want to see in reactivate will you be there opening day to fight me on a battlefield where we can finally play as we were meant to play as cybertronian transformers please let me know down in the comment remember to like share subscribe and keep tuning into voice of the fat mantis for more transformers updates and all the other nerd news out there that's fit to print until next time ciao for now